Okay, Mr. Iwan, first uh, welcome at our university. And first of all, tell me about your purpose here at the University of Gotsedalch. Okay. Uh, on the way uh, of my visit to um, uh, the Netherlands, so at the invitation of uh, a former student of mine, who is the deputy dean at the, the Faculty of Mechanical Engineering, MISCO, so I would like to spend a very short visit, less than 23 hours stay here. So the only purpose is, so since MISCO, my former student, finished his study from my university, so in the past four years, we do not have much, many students coming from Macedonia to study my university. So my university so focuses on very much the internationalization. So, so far we have uh, 1,100 international students coming from more than 120 countries. But unfortunately, so far we do not have many students or even we have low students from Macedonia at this moment. So, so with what you're going to attract Macedonian students, what are you going to offer them? Uh, exactly. So for scholarship, uh, sponsored by Chinese government. So for those candidates who decided to study a master degree or doctor degree at my university. So the first scholarship uh, can be free tuition, free accommodation, and free insurance premium. And besides that, the Chinese government offers some monthly living allowance for the uh, full scholarship students. Uh, that's uh, 3,000 per month RMB for master degree student, 3,500 for doctor degree student. So uh, pro, uh, pro, uh, approximately, so that's about uh, we say uh, 400 euros or 600 euros respectively for master degree student or doctor degree student. In what areas they can apply for internships or scholarships? Uh, Wuhan University of Technology, that's my university, it's one of the most famous universities in China. We have 23 schools covering uh, many, many fields of engineering. So what kind of fields? So uh, we try to encourage those students studying right here uh, with the potentiality for the future, for the development of Macedonia and also some kind of match of the settings uh, of disciplines between my university and this university. So for example, so mining engineering, uh, civil engineering, uh, business administration, computer science and engineering. So this kind of uh, uh, students or faculty with potentiality if recommended by this university to study at my university for master or doctor degree, they are warmly welcome. So how can they apply, where they can find you or your website? Uh, yeah, this is uh, really uh, important for the students with interest. So I have sent an email about the instruction on how to apply for this kind of scholarship to uh, Sanya at uh, the International Relations Department of your university by email. So she will forward this kind of information by email to those students. Uh, let them know about that. And uh, you may also have my email address uh, from my business card. I hope you can have it from uh, uh, somewhere after my uh, interview. Is there any requirements that they should meet the applicants? Uh, this is a very, very, very important. So for those who applied uh, for doctoral uh, uh, scholarship, so Minimally, basically, they should be able to uh, uh, submit the certificate of, of master degree. For master degree of study, definitely bachelor degree important. And uh, so, secondly, some important documents, for example, two reference letter from uh, the university professors right here. And uh, most important, they have a real interest to study. Okay, in this kind of fields they have real interest or intention to develop the Macedonian eco economy in the future, to develop the friendship between Macedonia and China. I guess all the lectures are in English. Uh, definitely. Yeah, fully offered in English. But we do offer some Chinese language learning to the students. Uh, with some uh, basic Chinese, they know Ni hao, xie xie, zai jian, something 
to uh, communicate with local people, make okay. life in China easier. So how many scholarships are you offering to our university? Uh, so Is there a number? Or? Yeah, so I, at this moment, I can see the one or two every year. I would like to make it as long as possible, lasting and permanent and stable. So if, uh, if we have uh, proper candidates this year, in some background, maybe one or two uh, uh, in next year, year after next, in different backgrounds. You have mentioned Professor Mishko as uh, your student, yeah. so you have some experience with Macedonian students. What is your experience about them? What do you uh, think about them? This is really, really so one of my purpose to be here. So uh, Mishko uh, studied a master's degree at my university as one of the top international students. He was selected to enjoy some distinguished international student scholarship to continue his doctoral degree study. So from his experience, uh, experience we find that so uh, outstanding performance uh, due to uh, some uh, hard working and also uh, friendly with, uh, with uh, the teacher, friendly with the with other people. So friendship, so hard working and, uh, and uh, uh, devoting to uh, their own life and also the relationship between two countries. Thank you very much. I hope you all do it. Okay, thank you.